Namaste. What's good, everybody? This one for Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius. What's coming on here for Sagittarius? This card is bent. What the fuck? Somebody powers is being disabled. You disabling somebody powers, Sagittarius. You stay doing that. That's that fucking Earth Angel stuff. That superhero stuff that you do, Sagittarius. You can't help it. Yeah, it could be Capricorn energy. Within a year, yeah, something within that you achieved within a year is gonna start paying off. Your experience, like, so if you're studying something, you know you about to master it, even. Some of you guys thinking about retirement or. Where is something taking you career-wise? Someone's a mastermind. Love coming towards you here, Sagittarius. You got a lily here. Lily is my card for like something sad, but something happy at the same time. So there was something you may have gone through and it's like, Maybe you gave up on love or maybe you wasn't looking for love, Sagittarius, something like that. This is happening for you. Something about that. One more card for the Lily. Yeah, like you were really inactive like when it came to like maybe wanting love or something like that. Yeah. Maybe you dealt with a tough breakup, whatever it was. There's a new beginning here. That's what I feel like it's coming out for you at this time. Kind of if you believe in something here, they're saying. Okay, so life is definitely coming towards you, Sagittarius. a lot of pain or hurt around failures or disappointments here being honest with yourself here but you know that it's not healthy to kind of feel helpless or hopeless over anything even if it's your love life right really real shit because you understand that a mistake is only the opportunity to learn here right something is growing within you okay i think this is wisdom for you sagittarius truly a lot of you guys this is resonating as or you know, um, your experience is more so like wisdom, an experience of wisdom for you at this time. Some of you guys, it is going deeper to love. Okay. Yeah. Due to your growth. Okay. Some of you guys, it is going a little deeper, but there's a lot of growth, fertility, good things happening for you, Sagittarius. Let's see. Yeah. Denial. Okay. So pay attention to like not giving yourself some sort of credit here. Okay. We have win or lose. Okay. So somebody could be doing something like at any cost here. That's what I get. Somebody who's who's in balance is doing something at any cost. This is who you disable their powers, win or lose. Somebody lost the fight against you here because you've grown. Crown chakra, yeah. Yeah, they failed. You've disabled someone's powers here, Sagittarius. Strongly just what I'm picking up. Taking a lead, maybe something, yeah, something you've been doing is creating some sort of success. Like you've been on something lately, like a real mastermind, you you know. Um, and so whoever powers you disable, you, they deserve it. Yeah, manifest. 
So you could be manifesting something right now here, Sagittarius. Control. Clarity of belief. <coughs> <coughs> You don't believe something here. You might be having difficulty like manifesting something. It might be difficult to experience love or to accept other people's love at this time. But this is a part of um, sharing a love or something like that. Like being able to accept love and that people love you just as much as, you know, you love them or something like that. That's what I'm getting. Yeah sadness and isolation it's like not um wanting to connect with other people at this time like healing that that's something you're manifesting here Sagittarius hmm. yeah because up uh right here you got spirit council initiation give yourself grace okay Believe and succeed. Love. So there is love coming towards you. Love coming towards you. Love abides. I knew it. Let's keep going. I don't know why the camera... That shit be... Murder. That's not how I be saying it. Is. I don't know why it be like that. It's feel like the camera moves or something. When I be recording or something. Conversation. Somebody doesn't want to have a conversation. Somebody doesn't want to talk here. Somebody is holding back what they have to say. Somebody's in a situation where they're stuck. They have no control over a situation. Tower in reverse. Somebody feel like they ran out of time. Someone wonders if you gave up on them. I guess they gave you the feeling that it was over or something like that. You feel unclear or something about where you stand with someone. <laughs> Final card, Ancestors. So the Ancestors is helping you out. Like, this is divine intervention. That's why somebody's powers was being disabled. So this might not even just be you that's deactivating something. This could be your Ancestors deactivating someone else's powers. Someone else trying to control you, manipulate you here. Someone who's holding back here, who's causing confusion in your heart. Somebody is waiting on the situation to happen, but if something is out of someone's control with the tower, this has changed, but at this time it's stuck in reverse. So it's like something's not happening and there's a time stamp or someone's waiting. There's expectation here, okay, for someone here in a love connection. Show me what I'm picking up. Somebody could be dreaming about you. Yeah, because you're like absent from this person's life. So like this person is like dreaming about you or something like that here. Someone's missing you here. Someone feels you're irreplaceable. Yeah, reciprocity. You're going to a connection into reciprocity here during the spirit council initiation. Give yourself grace, your heart, your relationship, matters of the heart. Okay. Yeah, gossip. Okay, don't listen to gossip or rumors. 
There could be gossip around you too, okay? There could be somebody who, like, is trying to lie on you, something like that. Because we do have lies up here with a third-party energy. Yeah, like someone wants you to lose hope or lose faith here. Time. Yeah, time is very sensitive here in this reading. For whoever I'm reading to, like, time is really, like, of the essence I'm getting for whoever I'm talking to. All right. Damn, was those all flipped over? Okay. Right. Let's see if we can get one more here. Pandora's box. Okay, so yeah, something strongly just feels stuck. And, you know, the energy of this for the couples that, I, that I'm um, getting here, it's, it's like an overwhelming feeling like waiting to heal or trying to heal so it's like don't wait on a relationship to heal okay also what i'm hearing someone's a mastermind what's a mastermind who's the mastermind the boom somebody whoever is waiting on this this change to happen is the mastermind so somebody's waiting on a change here it could be the masculine or feminine energies i don't know Whoever it is that's waiting. It's a master one. Okay, give me one more card here. Yeah, we got Pisces Romance. Something that's obvious. Rainbow Portals. True Love. Like, bro, y'all know these cards don't even come out like that. Somebody got bright orbs around them. Somebody is like fairy energy or like really godly energy or something that's um otherworldly okay and it's like really obvious when someone looks at someone someone could tell something here i feel like true love is intervening in the situation here for whoever i'm talking to like true love like divine love like what was meant for somebody let me see let's also grab us a, a message for look at that i just seen the two cups i don't know why i'm getting a little resistance here because there's something there's a tower it's like some sort of change that's waiting to happen here i think that's why i keep getting that here in this reading but let me just see. Let's see what the angels have to say about this situation. Yeah, I got the three of cups here. So there's something here. Okay, there's some sort of celebration and get together here. Okay, what are the angels saying here? Romantic feelings. Okay, they're real and worth exploring. You're lovable. It's a situation calling in for you to have faith. Okay. First three messages right off top from the angels, okay? So let's keep going and get our tarot messages. But um, I don't know. Someone that deserves what they did, okay? They deserve to lose their power rather here, okay? Um, is losing their power. That's what I was saying about disabled powers. I don't know what they did, but let's find out. Let's dig in. Let's dive deep. Yeah, they thought that they got away with it. That's what's at the bottom of the deck over here. Somebody thought that they got away with it. That's why they deserve it. Because they thought that they got away with it. And they didn't. This is why they deserve this ass whooping. So um, Sagittarius should give somebody an ass whooping. 14, 11. <laughs> Energetically. It's all energy, baby. Alright, so... Yeah, Ten of Wands in reverse. Yeah, like somebody feels like you're unbothered or something here. Someone feels like you're problem or stress-free, carefree here. Like you're not giving them no energy. Knight of Pentacles in reverse, okay? Also, you feel impatient. <clears throat> Two of Cups, okay? Like you feel like in reverse, you feel like it's not coming or like, When's it coming? This is an impatience, King of Cups, emotional intelligence. So, like, you know better, but it's like you're getting impatient here. All right, so you're being reminded to 
Um, remember that you deserve love and just to trust that the situation is calling for you to have faith with this two of cups in reverse. First four cards, you got out the ten of wands, knight of pentacles, two of cups to the king of cups. Just saying. Slow down. Slow down. Because you like, yeah, slow the fuck down. Like, okay. Let's take all of this in, right? You got the two of cups here. Let's. What is this two of cups? What is this two of cups? The judgment. This is somebody coming in. Someone who's ready to make, you know, a state their intention of love. With this two of cups. What is the king of cups? Ace of pentacles. Okay. Someone has realized that it's time. All right. Someone's emotionally ready. Someone was never emotionally ready for a connection. And that could be one or two of parties. But someone's ready now. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, Ace of Swords, that's the truth. Someone is seeing some sort of clarity. So you have to be patient. I know you're impatient with clarifying the Knight of Pentacles. But you gotta be, okay? Then you got the Ten of Wands clarified by the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, someone's going broke. Trying to keep up with you. Trying to throw dirt. Trying to block some sort of success for you with this five of pentacles it's like someone missed out on being with you this could be definitely be an ex five of pentacles here all right or someone who um was mistaken about your power or something like that i feel like you know um they overlooked you okay this person they doubted you that you will find someone or a connection. And it's like now they're looking back like wanting you. So these could be this could be someone that you are no longer with, right? What is the five of pentacles? I couldn't let you get close to me. This is somebody who wouldn't let you get close to them five of pentacles. But they wanted to be in a relationship with you here. This could be a friend, a lover, anybody. What is the Ace of Swords? You and I were too young. So somebody was too young here. Whoever it is that is on your mind here. I feel like that connection, it didn't work out because you two were just too young when you first tried to connect here. Okay. What is the judgment? Someone's grateful for the spiritual lesson. Whoever this person has come towards you, 1747, whoever this soulmate is, I'm telling you, just have faith. And this person is very a very faithful person, a very spiritual person, like how you are. When I'm getting two of this judgment, clarifying the two of cups. Show me what I'm getting. Okay. What is the king of cups? And we also have, I love you unconditionally. This person, oh my God. This is true love though, real shit. That is what I'm getting here out of this connection with two people here. Show me what I'm getting. Now let's go and get some more messages here and see what else comes out. Because I feel like there's more here that they want to talk about. So let's see what else is twisting and turning here. I feel like you deserve love. Okay, romance is just coming because you deserve it. This is just simply something you deserve here, okay? Love, love, love. True love, bro. Like, for real. You got to see Knight of Cups energy to the chariot. It's in reverse, but I see it. Like, something is coming towards you. A lot of forward movement in love, okay? Options here I'm seeing also. Okay, yeah, you got the Queen of Swords. Like, some of these motherfuckers is going to be liars. And I feel like now is, like, a time where, like, you can trust your guides, your angels to, like, give you assistance, like, to see, you know, what is for you. Okay? And if they are not coming in correct, I feel like you will be disabling their powers. And guess what? They deserve it for coming in and fucking with somebody of your stature. You see what I'm saying? Your spiritual intelligence. Like, how dare you? Like, right? <laughs> right how dare you so i feel like take a leap take a chance some of you guys will be doing that okay at some point here with the hangman when it comes to love okay you got the hangman out here energy yeah i feel like your love life 
your perception on love is being transformed here with the knight of swords and it's happening very quickly like the more that you allow you know trust to filter through you truly so you can really experience love on a higher level you got pisces energy keeps coming out here high priestess this is what i'm saying you're a very magical person or a very tap in type of person like spiritual being here okay that's the one that i'm talking to yeah page of pentacles energy out here okay i also feel like you know there's a, a new start with someone like this is this could be with this page of, <clears throat> with this page of pentacles this is giving me like the energy of like somebody that wants to like not just be in love but like have like um wealth this is like giving me like the, that vibe you know This is like wealth, like a lot of money or something like that here. I don't know why, but this is what I'm picking up about here with the Page of Pentacles to the Fool. This is somebody who, yeah, because look what's the sun. Remember I said that? I literally just said that. The sun represents material, wealth, abundance, right? This is somebody, this is a connection here. I just feel it. I, I'm, this is what I'm channeling, Nine of Swords. Somebody bigger than you ever fucking could have dreamed of here. Wow, yeah, Page of Swords. So, yeah, somebody um, is, like, watching you to see, like, well, what are you up to and what are you doing, okay, in this connection or, yeah, Six of Wands in reverse. Yeah, somebody's definitely to the hermit. See, well, they want to know if you're single. Page of Cups or Six of Cups. They want to know if you're single. To the Page of Wands. <laughs> yeah strongly what I'm getting I don't know why all these love messages coming out here probably because I got this orange on but I'm going to tone it down in my attire and see you know the color change if the messages change because <laughs> I never know what's going to come out I swear yo these last I think these last two readings was about love. Or the first message that I channeled. And then this one, even though it's for Sagittarius, it is about love. For some of you guys here. Emperor in reverse. I don't know. I feel like somebody throws you off your game or something like that. You got this Aries energy, Pisces energy here. Like there needs to like there's some getting to know like of each other. Like that's there's that. That's what I'm seeing with this Queen of Cups, King of Cups energy. Yeah, I'm telling you, this is a lovers. Listen, this is a married couple. This is a married couple, Sagittarius coming together. Whether you know it or not, okay, I know my card. Okay, king and queen of cups to the hierophant to the lovers. Okay, the fool. Listen, this is what I'm telling you. This is person wondering if you're single, Sagittarius. You are, some of you guys, six of wands. Okay, so yeah, just trust that, um, you know, it's calling in for you to have faith right now in your love life yeah seven of wands bottom of the deck all right it's a birthright and anybody that try to block it you know what i'm saying there it's, it's a penalty for that shit so i feel like you know keep going towards what it is that you love what it is that you're you know it's your calling what makes you happy, all right? Do the things that make you happy here, Sagittarius. All right. And you're definitely attracting love is what I'm getting here. Wow, you got the Emperor, King of Wands. Someone, oh my God. Um, somebody has like a strange relationship with like, between like two people or something like that. I don't know. I'm going to go back to that, to the two of cups. I don't know, something like that. The emperor with the king of wands type of situation. I get that 
someone is choosing you over their past or something like that. With this Wheel of Fortune, Emperor, King of Wands, that's what I'm tr strongly getting. Like, someone's going to be mad when they choose you, Sagittarius, over their past person. Two of Cups in reverse. Down here, Three of Wands. Because they chose you. They felt like, yeah, I love this person, but this is not, this is not Sagittarius. This is not Sagittarius. I love this person, but it's not Sagittarius. Okay? That's who I love. I got love for all these people, but I love Sagittarius. Like, I want to be with. You know, this person is, is romantically in love with you. Strongly what I'm getting here for you, Sagittarius. Let's see if we can get another one. Take message from the uh, angels. Let your friends help you stay optimistic about your love life retreat. Okay, this talks about honeymoon energy. Some of you guys going on a honeymoon. Let's see if there's anything else specifically for Sagittarius here. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Yeah, I feel like you're seeing through the facade. You know what's going on. You're also easily able to remove obstacles right now for you, Sagittarius. That's why you might be disabling people's powers without even trying to here is what I'm getting. Okay. And we got third person out here. I don't know what this third person is. It's in reverse. So somebody's leaving that person, like I said. There's a new beginning. It keeps coming out. These same fucking cards. There's a new beginning for some of my Sagittarius's, okay? There's a lot of fertility in your energy right now, Sagittarius, okay? Serendipity, light codes, promises kept, duality, as above, so below. There is a divine partnership above, and it's happening to uh, attract and manifest itself down below in this plane. And some of you guys are Sagittarius that I'm talking to. When I keep getting these love messages, I'm telling you. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, beginning, spontaneous, inexperienced. That's what it is. I feel like you're inexperienced, so you just, that's what makes you not want to be excited for it, right? <laughs> you can't know how to do everything. That's what, that's what. Sometimes you're going to be inexperienced, Sedge. Yeah, you got off the hierophant. Come on. Yeah, inexperience is shown in a connection. Like, someone could be questioning you or something like that. They can wonder, like, what kind of beliefs you have, okay? Someone feels like you have, like, a really, like, um, mean way or cruel way about you or something like that like somebody walks on eggshells literally like in this connection i don't know ace of swords like somebody fumbles with the truth with you like they're afraid i want to say they fake almost with you sagittarius whoever this connection i'm not saying that they don't love you but like it's like this person is hard for this person because they don't know what like will tick you off or something like that i don't know is what i'm getting something i'm getting here They don't know, like, if something gonna piss you off, they'd be just, like, <laughs> trying not to piss you off. <laughs> Look how she looking. It's like, oh, what did you say? Like, <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you. So the hangman, yeah. The fool. This person.
person watches you though on some real shit if you do have a social media or anything like that pictures any type of this person like watches you on some real shit and like fantasizes like a life with you i'll surely get that here you got a hangman the full page of swords to the knight of wands okay somebody is like very sexually attracted to you as well someone has a lot of chemistry with you a lot of passion a lot of carnal energy okay for sagittarius page of cups to the three of pentacles okay i want to show you the picture on it but it's kind of she's naked right but the three of pentacles in this deck is about somebody being amused or being admired right um admired enough to even draw this muse i feel like you're a muse for somebody sagittarius right this is what they're giving me here Yeah, it's like somebody's ready to explore Sagittarius, the sun. They feel like they're in reverse denying themselves of love by not coming forward. Strongly what I'm getting, Sagittarius. King of Wands. This person is definitely going to be like a leader or somebody that has like a powerful job, a powerful position. Didn't I tell you that? This is going to be somebody who has a powerful job, a powerful position. Somebody who stands up for you. Someone who stands up for other people. Things like that. This person could be into law. Um, what is that shit called? Like when you advocacy or something like that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Sagi, Sagi, Sag. Sagittarius. I'm gonna get the final message here. What's being hidden, and then we're just gonna close it out because we it's been long enough. But yeah, Sagittarius. What is coming out for Sagittarius? Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Oh, can't be having all that coughing in the video. Like I be trying to, I be trying to keep it chill, kind of keep it like, you know, got a lot going on, got a lot going on. All right. Anyways, let's get a last minute message here for Sagittarius. You came closer than anyone, Sagittarius. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. So somebody had to let you go, and it was very hard for this person. Okay. Somebody felt like you came closer than anyone. Okay. Like, you got in a mind, like Sagittarius. You speak to me through music. Okay. This person could be listening to music, thinking about you. Also, Sagittarius. Okay. But yeah, this is what I'm getting for the messages. Let me know how y'all like this one down below. I'll talk to you later. Love you, Sedge.